a very important this day in history in Transformers for me and a lot of people that I grew up with throughout the fandom. Now, the guy that you know today as Proto Man has been in the Transformer fandom for a very, very long time. And I truly feel that I didn't really dive deep into the fandom until I got the internet. And I was one of the lucky few to get the internet way back in 1996. And I kind of like jumped around in the early days of the fandom where it was like, oh, there's ATT, All Toys Transformers. That's a message board. And then you have Benson Yee. He had his own message board. And that, you know, kind of served its purpose during the Beast era. And I would also go on MIRC, and I was part of two different servers there. I was on, I was part of the Espernet server for Beast Wars, and then I was part of the Ouija server on Dalnet, and then that moved on to, uh, I believe, another server throughout the years. I was all over the place. Um, and I also went by a different name back then because it was the Beast era. I had a different screen name that I used back then. And then I kind of solidified on Proto Man as I kind of said, you know what, I need to have a name that isn't just tied to Transformers, but just kind of could be an all-around name that I could use for everything. Because back in the day, you know, screen names were very important. It isn't like today now where, you know, people just kind of use their real name and that's that. But back then, you know, you had to have a screen name. You didn't use your real name on the internet, the irony in that. But what we're here to talk about today is the turn of the century led to probably the part of the fandom that group of the fandom that i stayed with to this very day and it was a website called transfandom.org that i was going to that had a really good forum and message board system and i used my alternate screen name that i used back then and then there was the big purge and the rebirth of that website into tfw2005.com What's funny about it is you could literally track the old history of it. Uh, Tony Bacala, all those years ago, the founder of uh, TFW2005.com, Alex, uh, you could find his old post on his uh, Angel Fire website, which was kind of like the uh, the very rough early two th- uh, TFW2005 website before it became the monolith that it is today and pillar within the Transformer community. And uh, you have just his very first post in February 20th in 2000 saying that he registered the .com, he registered the domain, and he hopes to continue this for a while. Hmm. Hopes to continue this for a while. Maybe, Maybe it might work out. And then, of course, we get to this day in history today. This day in history today, April 20th, 2020. 20 years ago, it was born the TFW 2005 website. And at that point, uh, transfandom.org had already kind of made a name for itself hosting the car robot episodes. Uh, I think we were already into like episodes, I think 13, 14, according to uh, release dates that I'm looking online here. And TFW 2005 was the merger of the two. It purged the original uh, group, uh, the original forum, and then we all had to re-register. And we all kind of lost our old posts and it just kept going. And it it was known for initially having all those car robot episodes that you could download in very low quality with no subtitles. And later on, we would get one subtitled episode. And then, of course, we had Tony's remixes of music, um, all different kinds of remixes of music that you could even buy a CD back in the day. But. It was the very early days of the beginning of online communities with the internet. And back then it was still kind of a mess. Unless you really were really part of like, let's say an MIRC chat group or, you know, an alt toys transformer or some kind of message board. There really wasn't a a strong central place for the community, but TFW 2005 really gave birth to that. And that's where you have like that old crew that I'm still friends with and familiar with today. Of course, Tony and Kickback and Soul Fury, the British Butcher, uh, Shin Detsetsu and uh, Silas, you know, uh, Shibumaru Prime. Those were the early, early, early old school guys from those early days. 
And then, you know, late, years later, you know, the, the, the new faces that I would meet within that crew in, let's say, the mid-2000s with uh, Quad Super 7, Vangelis, um, Fair Lady Z, uh, the late, great Optimus Scourge, rest in peace, Gary, um, Paul uh, uh, Space Bridge, Paul. Uh, I know I'm forgetting somebody. I swear if I forget somebody, please, 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 I'm sorry. It's just, uh, I'm just trying to just go off the top of my head here. And that kind of, you know, those early days on TFW were just the, the domino effect of things. Me doing more posting, re-registering my new username. I believe I did in 2004, 2005, around that time after abandoning my old one and kind of purging it. And that new Proto Man, <laughs> that new Proto Man that everyone still knew who I was anyways, just under a new name. And just uh just everything that exploded from there and then tony doing a sister subgroup called uh the uh cybertron.ca which then ballooned into the cybertron.ca website for the canadian fans and it just it, it was just the staple and into my in my opinion still to this day is the staple transformer website and there was a point that bacon even used to do a voting every year of the number one Transformer news website and community and TFW 2005, which is sweep it every single year. And rightfully so. Great interface, great up-to-date news, amazing staff, and a great bunch of individuals. And the domino effect of it is within the TFW 2005 crew, you have Super Megatron, and then that leads to TFCon and TFCon. TFCon literally being a... A, a slight uh, birth that came from TFW 2005. A obviously, Alex, you know, Tony Bacala, he tried to do his own show too in the United States, but TFCon really was something that also birthed out of that uh, TFW 2005 community. And what we have today in a lot of ways in, in TFCon is the, the continuation of that TFW 2005 community in a physical form with that being the conventions, whether it be the United States one or the Canadian one in Toronto today. So it's it's just, it's nice to reminisce and look back at all those crazy times. And I don't post as much now on the boards. Now, like I, the ironic thing is I do post. I post almost every single day on the boards, but just in the Transformers slag forum section, pretty much the thread there, uh, just you know, to, so that my link is out there for people that are part of the community. But I don't really post that much uh, in the actual discussions themselves unless I'm kind of like hailed over there. Oh, we need uh, to get to the bottom of something. And then someone brings me to a, a link. But yeah, hey man, 20 years ago today, this all happened. And it's amazing. And it just it gave so many people so many opportunities to to meet people, to start businesses, to start, you know, communities. And it's it's a lot bigger than people think it is and it's a lot deeper than people think it is and it's just great to finally have a chance to kind of sit down and celebrate uh the community and everything that tony put together all those years ago and have the ambition to do that and all of that great stuff and i just want to say like you know here's to another 20 years of this assuming that we don't have tfw uh permanently etched in our mind when the, the internet becomes in, you know implanted into our brains but it's a it's a great feeling and again to all the guys that i forgot to mention you know a lot of them i i met later on uh face to face through tfw 2005 and through bacons and tfcons and it's been a long journey it's been a long journey i've been in the online fandom for 24 years imagine it's staggering when i think about it 24 years i was in the transformer online fandom and i mean you could if you google you'll see there's me like you know back in the day there used to be something called uh the the trannies no no pun intended with that name it was like uh it was the emmys but for transformers and you could find my old voting on that from the 90s and stuff it uh, it goes really far back. It goes really far back, and and TFW literally is twenty years of those twenty four years. So 
it's a large part of that and and it's just i just wanted to just take this moment to just celebrate it thank everyone alex tony bacala for everything he's done all the crew and all the people that i got to you know befriend throughout the years from that crew and uh to hopefully see again and again and again every time we have another transformer convention and to always uh celebrate our love of robots that turn into thingamajigs and to keep doing that until the end of time